This is how it understands your hands. It's actually tracking 22 joints in my hand. Um, it'll track you know, both sides. It's, uh, it's very fast. And you can use this to do mid-air gestures, so like movements, or static gestures, like you want to do volume up, volume down, something like that. Okay. Um, but I'll just show you an example of why, why we like it. Uh, when you're interacting with your hands in a piece of software, it's very intuitive. You don't need to teach people how to do it. They walk up and they go, oh, that's my hand, uh, I see it on screen, I know what to do. And I, I've, seen, I've seen children just walk up and figure out how to play this game. They don't need any, any help. So the object of the game is that these little guys here, you have to get them over there. And your hand is the only real object in the game. So you can just... Whoopsie. And you can be creative, you can do that. that that's actually what the 3D camera can see. So if you hold your hand out, you, you can see that it sees your hand in detail, right? Yeah. Uh, this, this is what depth cameras are. I, I just think it's a very useful way to explain what the camera can do. But here, I'll, I'll let you try something else. So this is a little game. Uh, you want to touch the dark blue square. Yep. Uh, press it a little harder. There you go. Like that. And this is just a really good example of a natural application. You know how to play it. It's a button. You reach out and you touch the button. This is the type of application we're trying to make possible. It's like a tablet, but without any... It's, it's in the air. Right? Yeah. yeah, in the air. Okay. It's like an hologram. Yeah, it's like a hologram. Okay. And what kind of application you, you think about? It's this? just an idea, but you can imagine any uh, application where hygiene is important, like if you're in a hospital, yeah. because you don't have to actually touch anything, so no germs, right? Mm -hmm. Around in front of the 3D camera, and we built a 3D model of it, which you can actually... Oopsie. Play with in 3D. And then we took that 3D model, we did a quick edit to add a base, and then we printed it. So we think this is pretty interesting. And there's a lot of opportunity to be creative too. Uh, we want to make the editing process of these 3D models very, very easy. So you want to add a ring to the top, well now you've got a keychain. Um, you want to make some little tweaks to your kids' toys, you can print out a, an army of toys or something like that. But even if you're not going to end up printing an object, uh, you know, people share millions and millions of photos on Instagram and Facebook every day. Wouldn't it be cool to share a model instead of a photo, something that you can rotate around in 3D? We, we just think that's a, a really exciting use case.